guys, it's Carrie Ann and I'm back with another Coffee with Carrie video. So grab your coffee and we can have a catch up on what I've been up to. So it's only been a couple of days since my first ever um, face to camera um, proper video that I have done, proper vlog. And thank you all for your support and your kind well wishes. It's been amazing. Um, <laughs> you can hear that squeaking. That's Lexi playing with a squeaky toy. I really apologise for that. Hopefully she'll change toy in a minute. Um, so I have been up to lots of different things, designing, I've been doing card making, scrapbooking as well, um, so I'll just give you a little look at some of the things I've been working on. So this is going to be a video that I do soon. In this one I'm going to show you how to use your stamping platform, rotating it round to get the design using the butterfly blocks, so that's one of the A7 Imagine Design Create stamp sets and that's the dream big one. And this is just some backing paper, so I'm going to do a really quick and easy card tutorial on that one. I'm also going to do a vlog on um, this one here. This is using the stencil. This is also a much better representation of what my desk normally looks like. I don't know if you can see all of the mess. Uh, but this is what my desk normally looks like when it's not so tidy. So this one here, using this stencil that um, is available now from Imagine Design Create and turning it into a card using... Just simple techniques really and the mousse in the background to give that pearl sheen of the stars. Um, and then this is using the glimmer paste, um, all tonic, because anyone that knows me knows I love tonic. Um, and then some of the nouveau drops as well. So I will do a video on that one. Um, the first video that I'm planning on doing today is this one here. So this one again is using the embellishment mousse, which I absolutely love. I just love the pearl sheen. Uh, showing that you can actually stamp on top of the embellishment mousse as well. That's with the chalky Versa inks. Um, and then I'm going to use the Memento inks, and this is the hybrid ink. So that's another video that I've got planned to make. What's down here? So this one I've already done. This one was something that I filmed and put up yesterday. So that's on my YouTube now for anyone that wants to see that one. It's a really quick and easy card tutorial. Uh, I've started scrapbooking again, and this is one of the first scrapbook pages I've done with Little Miss Noisy Lexi. <laughs> this was actually a photo of when I took her home in June of last year. Um, so she's tiny there. <laughs> she hasn't grown that much to be fair. Oh, and this one is something that I was working on with some um, products that I had uh, left over from commissions. So this is using some gorgeous watercolor papers um, and then it's um, some of the stamps from Crafty Potential. So I do stamp with all other stampers. First and foremost, I'm a crafter, so don't think that just because I've got my own brand um, that I only stamp and work with my products, because I don't. I own a lot of product from a lot of companies. Um, I love a variety of products, so Crafty Potential is one of the ones that I think her, her sort of critters and things are really lovely. So I have her products. Um, I'm a tonic addict. I have nearly everything tonic. Um, I also love sticks too, so you'll see like glitters and beads, I don't know how much you can see, I can't think of the span of the camera right now. Um, I've got obviously my pens, gelettos I love, um, I'm also, uh, I love sewing, so I've got my sewing machine, um, I love fabric, so I can't go to a craft shop without picking up fabric, usually a fat quarters pack. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else, everything, oh pens and stationery. I am an absolute pen and stationery addict, and <laughs> all my friends know that. Um, so they sort of they're asking like, what what latest pens have you got, and what stationery have you got? So um, that, that's my obviously my online stationery friends and planners as well. I love planners. My this is one of my notebooks from my birthday. This is a paper chase one, um, but this is my current main planner that I use. This is my um, imperfect life planner which is pretty much spot on because my life is definitely not perfect. Um, and then I also have a happy planner. Um, I have some others as well, but I can't remember what they are, but I'll do some separate videos on my planners as well. So yeah, that's pretty much all of the updates for the past couple of days. Um, but as I say, I will do a lot more of these. I think Coffee with Kerry pretty much sums me up because I'm always drinking black coffee and I've usually been up to something creative to share with you. And I think it's time that I do share more of my creative activity with you so you can see that I'm a real person <laughs> and I make mistakes and I have a messy craft room and I run on coffee and biscuits um, and yeah that's just who I am and as you can see I'm much happier today. <laughs> I feel like I've kind of got a lot off my, um, off my chest in my last video. I feel like I'm not the only one out there as well. Your response has really helped to show me that a lot of us 
have sort of like the health issue side of things. So I'm feeling positive and I'm feeling stronger and hopefully it's the boost I needed to get myself back into the creative mojo that I that I felt like I missed a little bit. So happy crafting everyone, have a lovely day and um, I will put on hopefully every couple of days, maybe a week, every week or so, I'll put on a new Cooking Co video and keep you updated with everything that's going on here at Kerry HG. <laughs> so happy crafting guys.